Hi, welcome to Rest Assured Tutorials. So in the previous tutorial, we have already seen that how we can build up a JSON using a JSON object. This time we'll see that using the collection. Okay, so all I have to do is, okay, let's first create a class. Uh, let's say I'll name this class as JSON using collection. Okay, so in this class here, first of all, I'll create test like just uh, like last time. Okay, I'll provide the base path, base URLs, right? Everything will remain same. Only the way we are building up JSON will change. Okay, so I'll remove this from here. Okay, so first let's go back to the JSON and look at it. Okay, so all the key and value pairs that you're seeing here comes under the map collection. Okay, and the single string value list can be a array list or can be a linked list. Okay, either of uh, it's completely our choice, you know, according to the use where it's going to be get used. Okay, so first let's create a map for these keys and value pair and then we'll do that for the list. Okay, so first I'll create an hash map. right so imported from the util so okay first uh, i'll name this map object as map let's say equals to new hash map so the one thing that you have noticed uh, i'll get a warning here okay i have talked about this already that we have to you know define its generic type a collection can't be of a raw, a raw type there's a reason behind it because you know if i don't define its type there are chances you know at some point we'll get a class cast exception and at any cost we want to avoid that so we'll define its generic type so all the values till here before this key called courses i'll talk about it later are string so first let's consider you know all the keys as well as the values are string so i'll set the generic type to string and string string is the key string is the value same thing do on this part Right, and now simply use the map method to add. Okay, it's actually put. Yeah, here it is. So here you have you have to put the key and then the value. So first, uh, let's say my key is first name, and then the value. And the value is let's say Oscar. Okay same thing i'll do for the other keys and value pair i'm sorry this comes un under the double quotes okay and the same thing i'll do for other keys too so let's say this is for the last name right and the next one is for the program and email okay let's say last name is 11 okay oscar 11 is the name of the student and same way i'll you know i'll add other keys values okay again you know be very careful about putting uh, these key values should be same as the, the json that is accept uh, accepted by the schema so next key is email and then we have a program right all all of these keys are in string so are the values and this is the value for the email and let's say the program is data structures <coughs> okay now let's see what problem is with the generic value string and string okay so all values till this part are string okay but my next key is a string that is fine but value is not a string it's a list okay i can build up an array list but what how i will add it you know with this generic type okay let's see that before that you know build up uh, let's build up this array list and then try we'll try to add it in to the, to the map so i have to create an array list by the name courses right 
initialize with the new again and here we go okay so import this array list from the java util right and we're good to go again we'll get the warning for that it's a raw type of collection and we have to define its type so all the values in this list we already know are string so i can set the generic type to string same goes here okay and i can add my courses now to this list so the method again i i'll use is the put or let's say add okay so here i'll add my courses so in the data structure let's say the courses are uh, algos some some algorithms okay uh, okay i'm just adding one course now the problem is i can make a new entry to this map using this put method by the name key called courses but in value i'm not adding a string value i'm adding a list okay if i'll directly try to add this list object i'll get an error okay that it only accepts the string this is what we are going to get the method but only accept string and string value okay string key and string value so what i can do about it okay one thing is that uh, i can remove this whole generic type okay which which won't uh, which is not a right practice okay we have to define this uh, generic type in order to avoid the class class exception at some point so instead of making the value as a string of a string type i'll make it of object type why because you know object class is the parent class to every class that is present here okay whether it's a it's a list or a string class object you know every type of object resides in in this parent class okay so that's why i can put it and it will allow me to do that now in the body i can simply pass this map object and again i'll see the same result like i was seeing earlier with uh, with the with the json object and the json array the same json will be formed but on the back end you know the code is completely changed this time we built it using the collections okay so uh, let's see if it works so i'll run this code i'm already logging the body so whatever the request that we'll build uh, we can at least see it on the screen so uh, here it is okay so this is the courses these are the all keys values and the same way on the format of json is still same but uh, we built it using the collection okay we can also check out uh, the new student that got added so all i have to do this you know call this get student request so within the list of new, uh, new students i'll see a new student that we just added oscar 11 okay with this email and the program got added to the db right so this is about you know building up the json uh, using the json object uh, using the collections okay so uh, if you like this video uh, uh, thumbs it up and comment down below if there is any doubt for more videos like this subscribe to the wisdom wisdom trainings thank you